in this video we'll show you how we can add tags um, to the machining path so I'm in the uh, CAD system now uh, so in this uh, simple example um, supposing we wanted to add a couple of tags along these edges here uh, one method would be to create a split using the split items here and there. Now then what I could do is I could create contours of just this part here. It's not an enclosed shape so that's the end part. So that's one contour there and then I could do the same thing over here. That's another contour and then I could make up another contour which is just that small line there and the same thing over here so having got that then when I come into the machining software then I can choose just to machine certain parts so if I just save this away and then we'll call it tags one take it into the machining and then we'll choose the tools and then uh, just produce a, uh, a path. So let's just set up a tool, so a 10 mil tool. Now if I just right click and sh show the uh, names and number of the spans, you can see that we've got uh, four contours there. So what I could do now is I could simply uh, do a go around command on this contour here give it a depth let's say 10 mil offset to the left okay and then we could do exactly the same thing another contour this one here say so that's 10 mil deep and so on so we've got a couple of tags there then I can just do these simple little things here and do the same thing over here so that's a sort of a, a quick and dirty method if you like of uh, just adding some tags to the part and then machining it as separate um, entities and that kind of works okay but it's a uh, it's a little bit crude but it does mean that you can choose exactly what it is and how you want to machine it so if I close down the uh, the cam and go back into the CAD what I'll do is I'll just delete out all these contours and in fact probably the easiest things if I just start a new drawing there we go set up the grid and then just uh, create a box using that grid and then just create a single contour of that and give it a depth. So that's just created a contour of a rectangle and then I'll call that tag 2 and then we'll take that through into the machining. So now what uh, we can do create the tool and then we can use the go round command now what we'll do here is that under the options tab we've got this thing called partial machining so this is going to machine the whole contour starting at span number one finishing at span number four so supposing we want to finish at span number three and finish halfway along which is 0.5 and then we can also add a further amount to that so we'll see what this does at the top for the time being so it's starting at span number one finishing at span number three okay so let's just run that so it starts here machines all the way around and then just goes up to that point now we do another uh, go round command but this time we start off at span number three and we say start at 0.75 away along the way 
so that has just added a tag there. So that's added the tag. Now what we could do is we could just um, machine that one face. So if we do this again, and we start off at span number three, and we finish at span number three. So if we look at that and animate the tool, comes around and machines that. Runs off, pops up, then goes and machines the rest of that. So that's left the tag. And now we can machine just straight away along that face and get rid of the tag. Now, as you saw me do, do previously, when we're doing these, we can change the position or the distance here so we can start at a position, 0 is the beginning of the span, 1 is the end of the span, so 0.25 is a quarter of the way along, 0.75 is 3 quarters of the way along, or we can specify a distance, so this will be a distance from the start point and a distance from the end point. So when we're doing anything like that, what we might want to do is we might want to put in a machine stop so that we could um, clamp up or fixture up the uh, part before the tag is removed so we might want to put in an optional stop so then that can just be clicked and dragged into the position so selects the tool machines the two contours and leaves the tags outputs on a machine stop you glue up or you fixture it so that it's not going to move and then you finish off and remove the tag so that's how the easiest way to do tagging